While baling twine serves as an indispensable tool for farmers, the evolving demands call for a more robust solution. Introducing the Livestock Lock, rethinking farm security beyond baling twine, a product for farmers designed by a farmer and produced on this very farm in the west of Ireland. The universal clamp I've designed allows it to fit to nearly any farm gate you can find. It aims to add security while removing some of the hardship from your day-to-day -day tasks on the farm, making it quick and easy to open your gates. Your gloves can stay on and you don't have to be untying any knots and cutting old bits of twine. And it is especially useful on double gates that come together like this. It is also livestock proof. Even if the art clip is missing, you cannot open it with the lever. You have to pull on both sides of the chain, but obviously I recommend to leave the art clip in place. To make it fully secure, you can remove your art clip and replace it with a padlock. Once your padlock is in place, it is fully secure with these tamper-proof bolts. There is no way to open this with a spanner or ratchet. When you're not using the padlock, you can take it off and store it on the lock itself in this hole provided. That way, you're not going to lose anything. It can be used in square box, one inch or two inch, 25 mil or 50 mil, tube as well, 25 mil, 50 mil there, all the way up to 60 mil. So it can pretty much fit any gate you'll find. Just one bolt for the clamp is 17 mil. Just tighten that up. There's two 10 mil bolts you can remove there and flip this clamp 180 degrees. Easily be installed with any tool you might have in your toolbox. 17 mil rat, 17 mil spanner, crescent wrench, or an impact gun is my favorite, obviously the quickest, and you can get a nice tight squeeze on it. And if you have timber gates, we have a solution for you later on in the video. So here's another use case, and we'll show you how to install it. Your livestock lock will arrive with the clamp loosely assembled like this. You can see this V-shape here made out of uh, the parts on the lock itself. You want to line up this on the bottom of your tube. You let down the clamp. So simply just tighten up that 17mm bolt on the bottom. You can use a ring spanner, a crescent wrench or impact gun. So get it as tight as you can without damaging your gate. Now to use it, pull out your art clip, pull out the chain, loop it around your post, and like that. After many prototypes, I knew what direction I wanted to head in with the design, but I still had to sit down for many hours and think about every aspect from a user point of view as well as production. Once I was happy with the design, it was time to test it in the real world with some real life demonstrations and uh, get some proper market research. I first had a soft launch at the Longford Plown alongside Farmer Phil back in 2022. I brought a prototype there, was able to show it to an audience of farmers and demonstrate it on a gate in front of them. It gave me some great feedback and some momentum to move forward. I then made a batch of 50 and brought them to Mount Bellew Martin. And I was selling them there and also donated one for their charitable auction and it sold for the price that I'm selling them at today, 25 euro. Most recently, I was in Rathanishka alongside Sullis Tractors for the national ploughing, all of which were a success. Lads were buying five and 10 of them out the gate. I couldn't believe it. Not only had I proved that there was a market there for a new product, but that my pricing structure was working and I was onto a real winner. I have been selling livestock locks all over Ireland, the UK, and a couple have even reached the Netherlands and Austria. I didn't want to release this video on YouTube until I was confident I could keep a production line going and have some there ready to go. So there's 250 assembled, zinc plated, ready to be shipped out and there's another 250 in production. So that way I hope to keep all my customers happy 
with immediate shipping and a solid product. Visit idoagri.ie for more information and find the pricing. So you see it down here, head over to the livestock lock. There are three versions there, bolt-on version, the clamp-on version and the weld-on version. Inside each of them you'll see the price. Pack of one for 25, a pack of three for 65, you're saving a tenner. Pack of five for 100, saving 25, and there's free shipping on that. And a pack of 10 for 200, again, free shipping, you're saving 50 euro, and you get a free horn handle pocket knife to help you cut off that bale and twine. Now, so you would have seen on the website the three different versions. Obviously, we've demonstrated the clamp on version can be clamped onto any gate with a steel tube, whether it's a uh, square or round and even a crush or different things, so many use cases for that. This is one we'll demonstrate later, but fairly self-explanatory. Bolt-on can be bolted to a timber post, a timber gate, or obviously a concrete wall or a concrete pillar um, beside any gate that you want to keep uh, closed. And the third one is a weld-on version. So this is just the base livestock lock unit, and it comes with a steel tab, that can be welded on to a new gate that you're making or a shed post that you're putting up. And if you're really thinking ahead, you can send it away to get galvanized and there's no worry of any of it rusting then. That'll be supplied with your fasteners, which just require one 10 mil spanner or ratchet to tighten them up. Um, and that is that. And also the bolt-on version will come with both timber and concrete fasteners so you shouldn't be stuck so it'll it'll do both and you don't have to worry about going out and uh, buying the right screws so right now we're going to show you how to weld this one on it can be put in either direction there but whatever we'll make it simple enough for you just takes two one inch beads and that's it and uh, give it a give it a bit of paint and bolt it on so you might notice we have a nail in here on these barriers, the closed bolts, because there's no other way of uh, keeping the cows from breaking out. And obviously a nail isn't the best thing for to be above their heads. And we have tried our clips, they fit perfectly into it, but they only spring out and knock them out no matter what way you put them in, and they get lost as well. So that's just another thing. So what I'm going to do, and I've been wanting to do this for a long time. We're going to put three up along these three steels where the gates close. So what we're going to do here today is install this well done livestock lock right here in the web of this girder. I just need to grind back a bit of bare metal and we'll just run a bead either side of that onto that girder. So when you're installing this, you'll see two holes. You want those to be on the outside and it doesn't matter which direction that way, the livestock lock can be um, bolted on either way. Just make sure this one inch here of flat is on the flat of the girder. Just throw a small weld in that then, and then I'll be able to loop around my chain, have it fully secure, and even put a padlock on it. Now I know a lot of people are gonna want a heavier chain on this, but this should work for 95% of cases. Uh, with livestock. It's really just there to replace a bit of rope or a bit of bale and twine to be honest and not many cattle are going to be able to break a chain um, like that. So that's four mil chain at the minute but of course I do plan to make a heavier version and I'll be working on it over the Christmas break and hopefully into the new year if we get all of these sold out in that time we'll be making and launching a heavy duty version of the same thing but know that I am working on it and it's just a matter of getting all of this up and going and running smoothly before I can go and invest in um, that. But it won't be, hard to, won't be hard to produce those. But do let me know down in the comments, just out of interest, how many of you would like to see a heavy duty version of this uh, as soon as possible. So get the angle grinder, grind that back, throw on some welds and call it a day. That would 
should be good. Pretty square. Now, not my best of welds, but it'll hold, and I got a bit of paint on it. I'll get the, let that paint dry, paint, um, that stuff dries pretty quick anyway. But then I'll show you, we just bought that on, and uh, get rid of this yoke. So to put it on, you just slide it on, put in your bolt. Bolts are staggered, so one goes in this side, and the other goes in from the far side. And then you just put on two lock nuts. And we'll tighten those up. Now I must say this is very satisfying to see after such a long time thinking about it. But oh yeah. That is nice. That is nice. They are not they are not gonna get out of there. So there you go, that's one way to use the weld on livestock lock. And as you can imagine, there's infinite possibilities here. And with the three different versions, there's definitely one to suit your job. But I'll show you now a demonstration of the bolt-on version for timber and concrete. So there you go, the livestock lock, the first product I've been able to bring to market. I hope to see it on gates all across the country soon, and I think with your help we can make that happen. Make sure to head to idoagri.ie to check it out, and we have some other beautiful products on the range as well. If you have any further questions or custom requirements, make sure to contact me on the comments below or through my contact form on the website. But boy, am I glad to get that off my chest.